Hello everyone. Today's video message comes as a request that I condense my sermon that I delivered on Sunday, October 4. So here it is. In John chapter 11, verses 25 and 26, Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Jesus spoke those words to a woman named Martha, the grieving sister of Lazarus. Lazarus had died, was buried in the tomb. And Jesus spoke those words of assurance to her that one day she would see her brother again, that he would be resurrected, and so would she. And those words from Jesus should give us the blessed assurance of eternal salvation for you and for me, for we have trusted in Jesus as our Savior. And we don't have to wait until we get to heaven to see whether or not we qualify to get into heaven. By trusting in Jesus now, he assures us by his own words that we have eternal life now and that we will go to heaven one day and that one day he will resurrect our bodies to be like his own glorious body that came out of the tomb on that Easter Sunday. But there's something more about this story and those words of Jesus beyond spiritual salvation. Remember that when Jesus stood before the tomb and he cried out, Lazarus, come forth, Lazarus came out. But he came out the same way he went in, a mortal man with a mortal body. Jesus resuscitated him. He didn't yet resurrect him. There's a big difference. To resuscitate someone is to bring life back into the dead body so that it lives again, but it's the same body that went into the tomb that comes out again. To resurrect someone is to bring life back into that dead body, to make it alive again, but now it has a brand new body, a body that will never ever die. Jesus was resurrected. He's the first one to be resurrected, and his resurrection guarantees our resurrection. But Jesus resuscitated Lazarus. So what do we make of his words, I am the resurrection and the life? Well, the word resurrection in the New Testament is used many, many times. But there's one instance where it has a slightly different meaning. It's in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 35, which says, By faith, women received back their dead, raised to life again. It's a reference to some people in the Old Testament who had died, but who were brought back to life. They were resuscitated through the ministry of the prophets Elijah and Elisha. Resuscitated. And because of that, because of that verse, Hebrews 11.35, which uses that word resurrection in that sense, we know that we can trust that the same Jesus who brought Lazarus out of the tomb alive again, resuscitated, is the one who can bring life again even to dead things. In our society now, where we are dealing with a coronavirus crisis, a COVID-19 pandemic, in which many things have died, businesses, companies, even some churches, programs, ministries, these things have died. But Jesus has the power to bring them back to life again. Things that have closed, he has the power to reopen. Things that have stopped, he has the power to start again. And Jesus questioned to Martha, do you believe this? She answered with an affirmative, yes, Lord, I do believe. He asked you and me the same question. Do you believe this? I am the resurrection and the life. Do you believe this? And if we say yes, Lord, for our spiritual salvation, that's fine. But what about going beyond that to the resuscitation of those things that have died in our pandemic society? 
Do you believe that Jesus has the power to bring back to life those things that have died, those things that have closed, those things that have ended? Do you believe that? I hope you do, because I do. I believe him with all my heart, and I believe his words to be true. And I hope you do. I hope that when he asks you that question, do you believe this? That you will say with Martha, yes, Lord, I do believe. Remember, he is the resurrection and the life. One day he will resurrect our bodies to be like his own glorious body in heaven. Until then, he has the power to resuscitate as he did Lazarus and to bring back to life those things that have died. Yes, he is the resurrection and the life. Amen.